Hey everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about a ring camera that is not working on live view. I'll be going over some easy fixes that work in the simplistic tutorial. Let's get right into the video. If your ring camera is not working with the live view option, whether it's a ring spotlight cam battery like this, or any other ring camera for that matter, I'm gonna go over six simple things that will help you fix the problem. This happens to me every once in a while, and one of these things usually solves the problem. Let's get right into the video. Number one is to make sure your Wi-Fi is working. So go on your phone, on your laptop, check your Wi-Fi, wireless printer, do whatever you got to do to make sure that your Wi-Fi is working. If your Wi-Fi is down, that's why you can't watch the live view. Even if your Wi-Fi is weak, it's going to give you trouble with your live view. So go ahead and make sure your Wi-Fi is working properly and it is at a good speed. So you can do a Wi-Fi speed test, see what the speed is, stand close to your ring camera, see what the speed is over there from your router to your ring camera. That's going to give you a good idea of if it's actually reaching, if that, if that broadband, that bandwidth, that, you know, that, that latency, whatever it's called, is actually reaching the camera. I'm not, sure if I'm not sure if those words are correct, but make sure it's actually reaching and that the Wi-Fi is working. Number two, if your Wi-Fi is working, okay, you can unplug uh, your router and your motor for one minute and plug them back in. Sometimes your Wi-Fi just needs to be reset. For myself, you know, once every few months, the Wi-Fi is being a little bit finicky. I unplug it for a minute, I plug it back in, all of a sudden it works fine for the most part. So it's worth it to give it a shot. Unplug your Wi-Fi router and motor for one minute, plug them back in. That might give you what you need to get your live view working on your ring camera. Number three is to reselect your Wi-Fi network and check the Wi-Fi strength on the camera. So to do this within the app, you're gonna go to your camera that you're dealing with. Let's say it's your front porch camera, just for the sake of argument. You're gonna go to your front porch camera, uh, Go to the camera and select the device settings, which looks like a little gear icon from what I remember. And then you're gonna select device health. In that screen, it's gonna show you a whole bunch of stuff battery percentage, whether there's a solar panel charging and connected. I have solar panels with my, with some of my cameras, um, at least some of my ring cameras, not my other cameras from other brands that I have around the house, but with some of my ring cameras I do that are not wired, I do have solar panels. It's gonna tell you if they're charging and it's gonna tell you the Wi-Fi strength, the last known Wi-Fi strength. Take a look at that. Is the Wi-Fi strong enough there? If it's not strong enough, you're gonna have trouble getting that live view to work, okay? Okay, so like it has to be strong enough. And if it really is giving you trouble, you can always just reconnect to Wi-Fi. So you can disconnect from the Wi-Fi and reconnect to the Wi-Fi. Or even choose a different Wi-Fi network. Maybe you have a Ring Chime Pro that you wanna try connecting to as well. You can try that out. Maybe your Ring Chime Pro is closer to the camera. I would highly recommend a Ring Chime Pro. They're fantastic. Uh, like, I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I, I bought all this stuff with my own money. No one sent me anything of this nature. Um, but I just, I just love these Ring cameras and the Ring Chime Pro is like a Wi-Fi extender for your ring cameras um, so you can place it in between totally worth it um, so yeah you, you might want to consider connecting to a different network or reconnecting to your Wi-Fi number four this is a huge one is it too cold or hot where the ring camera is now these cameras I don't know what they're rated at but I can tell you they can withstand an absolute beating in terms of temperature just because I live in Canada and just the other day at the time of filming this you're probably gonna see this much later in the year but at the time of filming this just the other day it was minus 28 with the wind chill minus 28 with the wind chill that's not typical but my camera still worked fine so I know they can withstand the cold and also I've seen like some 30 35 degree warm days really hot days and the cameras work fine so I don't know what their temperature rating is but maybe you live somewhere where it's freezing maybe you live somewhere where it's minus 50 I don't know check out if it's too cold because that's definitely I'm assuming gonna affect it at least in some way maybe it'll still work but it might affect the live view because your live view is your highest performance I believe with the camera because it's literally taking a video and sending it to you live time okay it's not even recording it's recording it as well but it's sending it to you live time because when I go to my live view I can go and review later those live views anything that I viewed live is recorded I don't know if that's because of the subscription that I have or just in general that's how it works but even if you don't have the subscription, like the yearly subscription that, that you, I pay for. But essentially, you know, you want to see um, if your, your live view will be affected, in my opinion, if your camera is not at its peak performance, I believe. I'm not a professional, but that's to the best of my knowledge. Remember that, okay? That was number four. Look at the temperature. Is it too cold or too hot? You know, maybe you can find a way to uh, move the camera so it's not in the brutal cold or the brutal heat. Maybe you can put it in a covered area. I don't know. I'm just giving you suggestions. Okay, number five. Check for 
for a more update, okay? Now, when you've set up your cameras, it would have likely updated, and they do, as far as I understand, as far as I remember, they do update whenever there's a firmware update, I believe, automatically. I've never seen, I know they turn a certain color when they're updating, I've never seen the light turn that color, but I don't sit there and watch the cameras at any given moment, right? So, you know, I, I, from what I understand, they update automatically, but maybe your camera couldn't get the update. So check what firmware your camera is on and see if there's an update available. If there's an update available, try and get it to update. That's a key factor. Maybe you can just reset it again and it'll update to the newest firmware. It's worth giving it a shot, okay? Lastly, if nothing else works, if you just can't get it to work, okay? Number six is reset the camera to its factory settings. So on every camera, it's gonna be different. This is the Ring Spotlight Cam battery, which like I said, I also have the solar panel connected to it when I have it actually outside, which I'm not, not here inside, there's no sun in here, but I, when I, I have the solar panel mounted outside, which I'm going to connect again when I'm finished this batch of videos with this camera in my hand. But essentially, on this camera, I believe you push and hold down, you press and hold down the setup button on the top of the camera for a certain length of time. So I believe you press and hold it down for a certain length of time, whether it's 10, 15, 20, 30 seconds, whatever the case is, until this light starts flashing all different colors. But whatever ring camera you have, you're gonna wanna factory reset that one. Look up the instructions for your specific camera. It's all gonna be very similar anyways. Um, but yeah, I, I, don't, I can't tell you how every camera works, but look up the instructions for your specific camera and you'll be able to reset it to its factory settings. And hopefully that will solve the glitch or error or malfunction that's causing your live view to not be working. That's it. Hopefully one of these six things solves your problem. Lastly, as a side note, you might want to consider moving your camera closer to your Wi-Fi router modem, just if in case the, the if the Wi-Fi signal is really weak and that is a problem, you can just consider moving it closer or getting a Wi-Fi extender, setting up a whole new Wi-Fi mesh system that will extend your Wi-Fi reach or even getting the Ring Chime Pro, like I said, to extend that Wi-Fi reach for the Ring devices nearby it. That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Sorry, just to clarify, I said six things, that moving the camera closer is not ideal, but if it solves your problem, at least temporarily, maybe you can move it closer and then figure out how to get your Wi-Fi signal to move further after. So you're probably thinking, why would I move my camera? Yeah, I agree with you, but maybe see if that solves the problem. And if it does solve the problem, like bring it right beside your router. If it does, if it does solve the problem when you bring it beside your router or modem, then you can move it back to where it was and worry about extending your Wi-Fi signal, okay? That's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Woo! Thanks for watching.